My name is Ingrid Safina. I am a graduate student at the Nanotechnology Center in the biology department. What is interesting to me about nanotechnology is the nanomaterials that we use. They, are, they have less side effects on our health and they do a lot. They're, they're, they're diverse and they do a lot of, they have a lot of applications. What made me go into research is the passion or love for science that I have. Um, also to see the things that I learned in theory uh, come alive in real life. Uh, I also love to, to discover new things to learn from the actual reality. To the average citizens, we're helping them uh, improve our immune system, our health in general, but also what we are doing, the technique we are using, they are cost effective and they are good to the environment. My name is Karal Ghazali. I'm a PhD student in CINS. Currently, I'm a member of a group working on tissue engineering. We try to fix and treat different kinds of tissue. Uh, for me, my work is with nerve regeneration. So for my current research, if you have like, for example, soldier with injury or uh, some um, people involved in accident, so they need more time, they need long time to recover from this injury. So uh, usually take a month or years, but with our nanotechnology, with our scaffold, we, we will short the time so instead of years so we'll have one month or two months or three months. If we want to find uh, if we want to really help a society we have to find a new way and a new treatment uh, for those for those people to improve their quality life and um, I think the people that they they would like to involve in this kind of research the ultimate goal for them is to uh, is to help others because they have the knowledge and the tools they can do that. My name is Alex Beeris, professor with uh, the University of Arkansas Little Rock, and I am the director of uh, the Center for Integrative Nanotechnology Sciences. We are currently trying to identify modalities by which uh, tunable nanoparticles can uh, be used in a variety of applications and how their properties can modul be modulated in such that they will give us the type of properties that we are looking for. Uh, one application could be detection of cancer or could be the use of these nanostructures for advanced tissue regeneration platforms. Um, basically the ability to grow tissue that otherwise uh, would not be possible. The research that we are doing as part of Tunable and part of CASE in general um, actually is expected and we expect it to have a tremendous impact on the quality of life of the, of the population.